Hey, it's Ethel that can mean lots more green for your business. For a slighter way to a cleaner future, visit njcleanenergy.com or call 1-866-NJ-SMART. Wendy Time 926, now Bloomberg Money Watch. The world's largest food and beverage companies have more to worry about than inflation. Alex Partner says the companies are set to fall more than a third short of the industry's 2030 carbon reduction goal, and it's not because they're not trying. There has been a lot of progress in companies making commitments to reduce carbon by 2030. In fact, 2.5 billion metric tons, which would represent a 29% reduction from 2019 levels. But Alex Partner's Randy Burt says the problem for the executives of the more than 200 company survey is that they don't believe they'll actually meet those goals because they're not confident their suppliers will. A system approach is the only thing that will solve this. As well as a faster push, that gets more difficult when inflation enters the picture. Consumers are going to be less able to pay incrementally for sustainable products. Bert says governments need to standardize how progress is measured because the food and beverage industry has a big job ahead. Food and beverage globally accounts for one third of all global greenhouse gas emissions. Bloomberg Money Watch at 26 and 56 past every hour. I'm Joan Doniger for 1010 Wins. Coming up, why there is new concern about monkeypox at Rikers Island. Wins News Time, 947. If you have ever thought about remodeling your bathroom but were worried it would take too long or cost too much, then stop worrying. Right now, Jacuzzi Bath Remodel has designed a collection of high-quality custom products and perfected the one-day remodeling experience so you can enjoy your new bathroom faster than ever before. It's a worry-free bath remodel from the most trusted brand name in the business, Jacuzzi. A Jacuzzi Bath system fits in your existing tub space. It's a no-mess installation with an amazing style selection, factory-certified installers, and a limited life time warranty. Call 800-291-7154. That's 800-291-7154. Right now and get 50% off installation with no interest and no payments for 12 months. Replace that old bathtub today with a walk-in shower for a safer bathing experience. If you have lived in your home for over 15 years, it's time to remodel your bathroom for a virtual or in-home appointment. Call 800-291-7154. That's 800-291-7154. 800-291-7154. When people have a craving to explore new and traditional Asian cuisines, they head to P.F. Chang's, where scratch-made dishes come from the 2,000-year-old tradition of wok cooking. P.F. Chang's wanted to explore new possibilities for their website. They turned to AmericanEagle.com. AmericanEagle.com re-architected P.F. Chang's website, integrating multiple third-party systems to create a unified digital experience. The results? Improved page speed and performance, personalized content based on users' location, intuitive online ordering, and increase in organic search visibility and a 40% increase in new users for scratch made Asian cuisine. Visit your local P.F. Chang's or go to pfchangs.com for website design, development, digital marketing and hosting that produce efficiency, revenue and results. Visit AmericanEagle.com. P.F. Chang's and AmericanEagle.com. Another example of the best businesses in the world. Turning to the best in the business for websites, go to AmericanEagle.com or call 877-WEBNOW1. That's 877-WEBNOW1. It's 77 degrees right now, sunny in the city. Acura says we are going up to 87 today in Midtown. Real feels higher. Good morning. I'm Kathleen Marple Kalb. Wind Zoo time 9:30. Good morning, I'm Brian Britton. Just one day after the federal government declared monkeypox a public health emergency, city officials here in New York say a Department of Correction captain has contracted the virus. He does not work directly with inmates. However, the New York Post also reports another captain, one who does work directly with the detainees on Rikers Island, is infected. At this point, DOC says no inmates have tested positive. Meanwhile, a concern at a daycare in Illinois. Health officials in Illinois say an adult at a daycare has tested positive with the virus and a number of children may have been exposed. So far, just five children have developed monkeypox across the country. The vaccine for monkeypox can be given after exposure to the virus to prevent disease or lessen symptoms, but it is only given to children on a case-by-case -case basis. Illinois officials say they've been given special permission by the FDA to use the vaccine on anyone under the age of 18. Correspondent Faith Abube. Uh, Winds, news time 931, time for traffic and transit. Here's Jody Vale. And let's go to Brooklyn and Queens. Brian loaded up on the LAE eastbound slow from Utopia Parkway into Nassau County. Westbound, we're seeing a slowdown to the Cross Island. Looks like a crash or stall 164th Street. Northbound Van Wick, going to get jammed up Atlantic Avenue. And crawling on the Gowanus south of the BQ and the crossings. Southbound, you have road work. Has a bump and a bumper from the LIE to the Williamsburg and northbound Little Sony area, too. 
Southbound Cross Island, hardly moving near Jamaica. We need to know about the bridges and tunnels. East of our crossings, they're not that bad. Hudson side, inbound George, 510, 10 to 15 on the outbound side. In at the Lincoln and Holland, not bad at all, 5 to 10, and outbound's about the same. There are delays in New Jersey, Route 80 westbound, exit 37, Hibernia Avenue to exit 34 for Route 15. It's going to cost you a few minutes. Mass Transit, northbound A trains, there's delays after NYPD responding to a disruption at Canal Street. Traffic and transit every 10 minutes on the ones and breaking traffic alerts when they happen on 1010 Winds. Oh, let's get the accurate with the four-day forecast now. Here's meteorologist Matt Benz. And step out the door today, and it's uh, it, it's nasty out there. Just stay cool. And we'll see times of clouds and sunshine for today, perhaps an afternoon or evening thunderstorm around high of 87 degrees. We're going to feel temperatures reach the mid-90s here for this afternoon. Sticky tonight, low 76. Tomorrow, well, we're back up around 90 degrees, perhaps a thunderstorm popping up for the afternoon. Real feels in the upper 90s, rinse and repeat. Monday's forecast, basically the same as tomorrow. Another hot and humid one, thunderstorm in spots with a high of 91. Real feels again in the upper 90s, and not much of a change for Tuesday. Maybe just a degree or two cooler. A uh, humid day, though, with an afternoon thunderstorm, high of 89. And now the allergy alert forecast, sponsored by ENT and Allergy Associates. Book your same-day appointment online today. Today's outlook is medium. Grass is a predominant pollen concern. Currently it's 80 degrees in Central Park. We have mainly sunny skies, repeating the current temperatures. 80, going up to 87 this afternoon in Midtown. I'm your office, Matt Benz on New York's weather station. That's in the wind. All right, Matt, thank you. 81 right now in Baldwin, 82 in Newark. It is 81 degrees this morning in Thornwood. It's summer, and summer streets are back beginning today. We've got two more Saturdays, the next two in August. Over eight miles of Manhattan streets will close for the event, which runs from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. Saturday. Today and then next Saturday, the Saturday after that, the city offering unlimited 30-minute ride passes on city bikes to celebrate the inaugural summer streets. There are rest stops spread out all along the Park Avenue corridor. Uh, summer streets, you know, it's uh, when they close these streets down to vehicles, and it's open only for folks on two wheels on bikes, or well, maybe you're taking the Shoe Leather Express and you're going to stroll around. Foley Square, one of the rest stops, they've got a DJ, the uh, other rest stops on Astor Place, free fitness classes, free bike repairs at Rose Hill, Midtown Musical Theater and Dance Performances, Upper East Rest Stop, Physical Therapy Workshops, and the Uptown Rest Stop featuring inline skating. Weather's a bit tough, but if you get out, do enjoy it. A concerning new study from the CDC says kids who have tested positive for COVID are twice as likely to develop heart issues and have blood clots than kids who have never had the virus. The CDC study published Thursday also found in children who have had COVID, they have higher rates of kidney failure and diabetes. Those who do develop these complications get them a few weeks after infection. A special day today for Caribbean culture. Today, the Bagra Festival, celebrating the 60th year of independence of Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago. You think of baskets of carrying things. You know, so, so we're carrying on the tradition of our ancestors and keeping those traditions alive. And that's the idea that this festival is keeping that tradition alive. Andrew Clark, the founder of the festival, he spoke of 1010 Winds. It's being held on the grounds of York College today between 12 and 8 this afternoon. Where else? York College is in Jamaica, Queens. It's free for the entire family to attend. Winds News Time, 9.36. We've got 1010 Winds Entertainment coming up. It was a whole new world for Pete Davidson when he hooked up with Kim Kardashian, but now... That world is over. Entertainment is next. One day at a car show, Mike Lutz took a PSA test for prostate cancer sponsored by Perlmutter Cancer Center. Further testing showed Mike did have prostate cancer and needed treatment. I looked into everything and showed CyberKnife. Mike's CyberKnife treatment at Perlmutter Cancer Center took just five brief appointments in one week. Afterwards, Mike felt so good, he went out, picked up his dream car, and put prostate cancer in the rear view mirror. For an appointment, call 833-1-CYBER. That's 833-O-N-E-C-Y-B-R. If you love them enough to turn off your music, then pretend like their music is your music. Ah, this is Mommy's jam! Make sure that you check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. Let's play it again. Check today at NHTSA.gov slash the right seat. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Act Council. Uh, 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 uh
to bloom, or would you rather stay healthy and live comfortably in your own home? ArchCare can make that possible. ArchCare, the healthcare system of the Archdiocese of New York, provides top quality medical care, making it easy to stay in the surrounding you know, from healthcare at home to physical and occupational therapy and nursing home alternatives. ArchCare focuses on helping you live independently with the quality of life you deserve. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You have a choice. Ask for ArchCare. ArchCare offers many levels of service from short or long-term options, Medicare or Medicaid benefits, to just simple guidance, helping you find the kind of care. There are options, and ArchCare is at the top of the list. Visit ArchCare today at archcare.org or call 855-951-CARE. That's archcare.org or 855-951-CARE to learn more about ArchCare, including ArchCare at home, and see why New Yorkers trust ArchCare, the healthcare system of the Archdiocese of New York. ArchCare, healthcare that cares. Wins News Time, 938, 1010 Wins Entertainment. They met on Saturday Night Live during the Aladdin skit. You remember when 